So let's analyze question number 14. What is the angle between minute hand and hour hand when the clock shows 425 hours? So we need to find the angle between minute hand and hour hand. It's a commonly asked question in, in clocks. And we have done similar kind of question in our sessions as well. So I hope all of you uh, have uh, like, you know, done this question and got the right answer. Okay, let's, let's do it together. So I'm just uh, revising the concepts as well so that uh, those who are not aware of it will be able to solve along with me. Okay. So first thing you need to know is you need to understand how minute hand works as well as our hand works in every minute, how much degree they move. Okay, let's start with minute hand. So, in one hour, the minute hand will move the entire circle. See, full rotation. In one hour means minute hand will start from here, will complete the full rotation in one hour. So, that means the angle the minute hand move or covers here is 360 degree. Okay, in one hour, minute hand moves 360 degree. That means in 60 minutes, it's moving 360 degree. So that means in one minute, per minute, it's going to be 360 upon 60, which is 6 degree. So this is very important. What is the rate at which or how many angle or how many degrees the minute hand moves every minute? It's 6 degree per minute. Very important concept. Similarly, I'm going to discuss about our hand. Okay, our hand. In one hour, in one hour, how many degrees do you think the our hand covers? So one hour means let's take a clock here, which is sample clock here. Okay, this is 12, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, goes on like that. Okay, and I know that this each division is equal to 30 degrees. Because you know the entire circle is 360, so I can say the quarter is 90 degree, right? This is going to be 90 degree. So this 90 degree is divided into three sections, 30 each. So one hour means, let's say the hour hand is going to be here at one o'clock. After one hour, it's going to be at here. So during one hour, this is the angle the hour hand covers. That is 30 degree. Okay, one section it will cover. So in one hour, the hour hand covers 30 degrees. That means 60 minutes I'm converting into minutes. In 60 minutes, our hand covers 30 degree. So in one minute, it's going to be 30 by 60, which is half degree. So the rate at which our hand moves is half degree per minute. So every minute, the hour hand is moving half degree. It's not an instant movement. See, every minute our hand is moving slightly so that after one hour, this is going to be, it's completing 30 degree from here to here. So you know how minute hand and hour hand works, right? Six degree per minute for minute hand, half degree per minute for hour hand. Okay. Now let's come to the question. So the time is 425. I need to find what is the angle between minute hand and hour hand. The concept of the, the way we're going to approach this question is very simple. So we're going to take 12 as your reference. Okay. 12 is your reference. This is your reference point. And I'm going to figure out what is the angle covered by minute hand in this time with respect to this point, this 12. What is the angle covered by minute hand as well as what is the angle covered by our hand. Then it's easy for you to figure out what is the angle between them. So minute hand means, so I'm just figuring out the, uh, I'm marking the clock here so that you have a clear idea. Okay. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. This is a clock. So 425 means the minute hand is going to be somewhere here. Right. This is going to be the minute hand pointing towards 5, 425. So the angle covered by minute hand with respect to 12. So this is what I'm going to find out. The angle covered by minute hand with respect to 12. This is your reference point. So it's covered 25 minutes, right? So each minute, it's 6 degree. So the total angle is going to be 25 times 6, which is equal to 150 degree. So this angle is nothing but 150 degree. Okay. Now we are discussing about the hour hand. 
so our hand is four after four right so it's going to be somewhere here it's not exactly at four it's going to move right so it's going to be somewhere around here so i need to find out what is the angle from our reference point till this point what is the angle covered by the our hand so the time is four so four sections already covered until here each section is 30 this is 30 degree 30 60 90 120 so four times 30 is already covered 120 plus for every minute this is at four o'clock at four o'clock 120 degrees already covered and after that every minute our hand is moving half degree so for 25 minutes the our hand will move half degree per minute so 25 minutes half of that 12.5 degrees gonna move so we can say the the total degree covered or angle covered by our hand here is gonna be 132.5 120 for this 1 2 3 4 until here it's 120 then remaining part is 12.5 it's 132.5 so i can say this is gonna be this part from here till here so the reference point is 12 so this is gonna be 132 this is gonna be 132.5 and the question is asking what is the angle between our hand and minute hand so this is what you need to find the difference so the difference is nothing but 150 minus 132.5 so your answer is 17.5 is going to be the right answer. So option C is the right answer. So the best way to solve this type of question is very simple. You take 12 as the reference point and first find out what is the angle covered by minute hand. So you multiply how many minutes are there? Multiply by 6, very simple. And then you cover, find out what is the angle covered by our hand. 4 hours, so 4 times 30 and remaining minutes you multiply by uh, half, that's it. See, it's 425, right? It's easy to find out. 425 is the time right now. So 4 o'clock, 30 degree per section, so 4 times 30 and every minute half degree, so 25 into half, that's it. That's how you're getting 132.5. So now you know that, okay, 150 and 132. So angle between them is you take the difference. So your answer is 17.5 is the right answer. It's, it's doable. We have done similar questions in the, in the classes. So you can also refer that.